Tesla has been preaching sustainability and eco-friendly options of lifestyle for a very long time now. But what is the ideal combination if you wish to go 100% electric in a sustainable way? We're going to explain that to you in this video, so stay till the end. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. Please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell to update the latest news about Tesla for daily videos. Don't forget to join our Discord server to discuss future topics. Let's get started. The ideal combination majorly includes three of Tesla's finest innovations. That is, Tesla cars, solar tiles, and a power wall. Let's start by looking at the Tesla car lineups. Tesla has proven that electric vehicles could be aesthetic, combining outstanding performance and high-tech interiors with a usable driving range. The Model X crossover has space for up to seven. It's also the most expensive Tesla, showcasing the unique Falcon wing doors. You have your choice of two sedans. The bigger, more expensive Model S is a hot rod. In testing, the measured 0 to 60 mile per hour time was as fast as 2.4 seconds. The smaller, less costly Model 3 performance isn't far behind, going up to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds. The Tesla Roadster promised to bring fantastic performance to a sleek sports car. The company has also revealed its wildly designed pickup truck, the Cybertruck. In 2008, Tesla Motors revealed its first car, the completely electric Roadster. It attained 245 miles on a single charge in company tests, a fantastic range for a production electric car. Additional tests indicated that its performance was comparable to that of many gasoline-powered sports cars. The Roadster could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds and reach a top speed of 125 miles per hour. The lightweight car body is made of carbon fiber. The Roadster developed no tailpipe emissions as it did not use an internal combustion engine. Tesla Motors found that the car gained efficiency ratings equivalent to 135 miles per gallon gasoline mileage. The vehicle's electric motor is powered by lithium-ion cells, often used in laptop computer batteries, that could be recharged from a standard electrical outlet. In 2012, Tesla put a halt to the production of the Roadster to concentrate on its new Model S sedan, which automotive critics acclaimed for its performance and design. It came with three different battery choices, which estimated 235 or 300 miles. The battery choice with the highest version gave an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in a little more than 4 seconds and a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Unlike the Roadster, which had its battery system at the back of the car, the Model S had its underneath the floor, giving extra storage space in the back and advanced handling because of its lower center of gravity. This battery placement was used on the later Tesla models. The Tesla Autopilot, which is a form of semi-autonomous driving, was made available in 2014 on the Model S. In 2012, Tesla built supercharger stations in the United States and Europe designed to charge batteries fast and at no extra cost to Tesla owners. Later variants of those stations also had the ability of complete replacement of the Model S battery pack. Tesla revealed the Model X, a crossover vehicle, that is, a car with features of a sport utility vehicle but developed on a car chassis in 2015. The Model X had a battery range of about 340 miles and seating for up to seven. Tesla started building large factories called Gigafactories to develop batteries and vehicles. The first such factory started in 2016 outside Reno, Nevada. Gigafactories were opened in Buffalo, New York, Shanghai, China, and more Gigafactories were planned. Because of the demand for a more inexpensive vehicle, the Model 3, a four-door sedan with a range of up to 353 miles and a price of $35,000, started production in 2017. The car had an all-glass roof, and most controls were on a 15-inch central touchscreen. The Model 3 became Tesla's best-selling model and the best-selling electric car of all time, surpassing the Nissan Leaf. Next up, let's look into Tesla's Powerwall. The Tesla Powerwall is a stationary, rechargeable lithium-ion battery home energy storage tool manufactured by Tesla Energy, the clean energy subsidiary of Tesla Inc. The Powerwall stores electricity for solar self-consumption, time of use, load shifting, and backup power. The Powerwall was built in 2015 with limited production. Mass production began in early 2017 at Tesla's Giga Nevada factory. As of May 2021, Tesla has produced 200,000 Powerwalls. 
Tesla Energy also provides larger battery energy storage devices. The Power Pack, intended for businesses, and the Mega Pack, intended for electrical grid use. Tesla has offered many models of the Powerwall since its introduction in April 2015. The initial Powerwall, which is retroactively referred to as the Powerwall 1, had a 6.4 kWh capacity and could deliver 3.3 kW of power. Tesla introduced an improved Powerwall 2 in October 2016 with a 13.5 kWh capacity and capable of delivering 5 kW of power continuously and up to 7 kW of peak power in short bursts. Later versions of the Powerwall 2, shipped after November 2020, had the same capacity, but can continuously deliver 5.8 kW of power and up to 10 kW of peak power. The Powerwall, introduced in April 2021, combines a Powerwall 2, a backup gateway, and a solar inverter. Up to 10 Powerwall 2 or Powerwall Plus units may be combined to expand the capacity and maximum power of the system. Looking back in time, in 2016, Tesla acquired the Solar City Company, which was the US leading residential solar installer at the time, coincidentally founded by the cousins of Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Right after that, many other solar manufacturers have entered the residential solar market, and some of those leaders, such as Sunrun and Vivin Solar, have battled Tesla to be the market leader. At the moment, three critical features that Tesla excels at are Number 1. Tesla Solar Panels, which are the standard rectangular panels usually associated with typical solar installations. 2. Tesla Solar Roofs, which are solar tiles which are designed to cover the entire roof and look like tiles or shingles instead of panels on top of the roof. 3. Tesla Powerwall, a rechargeable battery that Tesla can install in integration with new solar systems or add to existing systems to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of energy use in the home. The Powerwall is optimized for daily cycling, as for load shifting. Tesla utilizes proprietary technology for packaging and cooling the cells in packs using a liquid coolant. Musk promised not to begin patent infringement lawsuits against anyone who, in good faith, used Tesla's technology for Powerwalls, as he had promised with Tesla cars. The Daily Cycle 7kWh Powerwall 1 battery uses nickel-manganese-cobalt chemistry and can be cycled 5,000 times before warranty expiration. The Powerwall has a 92.5% round-trip efficiency when it's charged or discharged by a 400 to 450 volt system at 2kW with a temperature of 77 Fahrenheit when the product's completely new. Age of the product, temperatures more than or below 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and charge rates or discharge rates above 2kW would lower this efficiency, lowering the system's performance. Powerwall 1 comes with a DC to DC converter to sit between our home's existing solar panels and the home's existing DC to AC inverter. If the existing inverter is not ready for storage, one must be purchased. Powerwall 2 includes a DC to AC inverter of Tesla's design. Production of the 2170 cell type for the Powerwall 2 began at Giga Nevada 1 in January 2017. Coming to costs, although each system will be different, each type of installation will be unique depending on many other parameters. The prices are $10,500 for one Powerwall and $17,000 for two Powerwall units. The National Fire Protection Association ran two worst-case scenario tests in 2016, igniting power packs to initiate thermal runaway. The design contained damage within the Powerwall structures. When the 750 megawatts Kogan Creek Power Station in Queensland tripped in October 2019, system frequency fell. The hundreds of power walls in South Australia combined in a virtual power plant responded to keep up the frequency. Next up is the Tesla Solar Roof that will complete the combination. The Tesla Solar Roof has excellent promises that you'd expect from the innovative company founded by Elon Musk. Instead of using panels, the concept turns your entire roof into your solar array. The Tesla solar roof uses tempered glass panels that replace your standard shingles, providing the same protection you'd expect from a traditional top, while also capturing solar energy. The Tesla solar roof is novel, but less proven and more brutal to transfer to another home if you move, because they're custom-made for each top. As a whole, a wise combination of a Tesla electric car with a solar roof and Powerwall batteries makes sense from a financial and economic point of view, 
but more importantly, in terms of a sustainable and green-oriented ecological investment. With that, we're at the end of the video. If you found it interesting, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting videos. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll see you again with another exciting video. Until then, bye.